Hey there guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. And today we are covering the Repair Turret mod uh, by Clonin. Last week we actually did a mod by Clonin, uh, Construction Drones, but he just released this one a couple days ago and showed it to me, and it's really awesome. We had to spotlight it. So uh, this is really neat. It adds a special turret here, uh, which has a cool, uh, unique graphic to it, kind of a turret base with a tower here. And uh, what this does, as the name would indicate, is it uh, repairs things. So instead of, it's kind of an automated uh, thing in place of construction bots or in conjunction with them. Um, so this does multiple things. It repairs, but then also um, it acts as an extension to your construction uh, network. So you, you can see here, you could actually, um, it will actually connect to RoboPorts and to themselves and expand your network and robots can charge at them. Um, however, it will not store robots. So um, these would be really good, like once you get con some construction bots up and you have one robo port, you know, for them to store in initially um, and go back to, uh, that you could use it in conjunction because while these will repair and they do not cost repair packs, um, they cost power instead, um, they don't actually replace things, right? So if something actually gets destroyed, then your robots can come in, fix it, charge here, um, and go you know, through if you have these along your wall because it's expanding your network, which is really awesome. Um, so there's several techs. There's, of course, the one to unlock it initially. Here, red and green, 100 of each. And then there's two separate trees from that. There's the turret power, which increases the rate, basically, and the strength of the repair, but then also increases the power consumption of it electricity consumption and then there's the efficiency which um, basically just makes it more efficient and costs less power um, so getting both of those together is definitely going to be you know a good thing and uh, you know they do uh, later on they do cost a bit 200 of red green blue and yellow for these so uh, keep that in mind uh, but let's let's go ahead and give these a test so uh, I have no upgrades currently because I want you to see what it's like without upgrades um, and we're just going to run over here, we're going to aggro some guys, and we're going to watch this thing in action. It's really cool, it looks, um, it looks awesome. Also, I would prefer not to die, and uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and run over here. Um, you can see this thing here, repairing, uh, looks, uh, looks pretty good, I like it. Um, it. Like I said, it takes some power, so it takes 100 kilowatts. Um, when it's actively working, you can see there it jumped to 100 for a second. And uh, he's going to get to go do that. Um, and then let's go ahead and actually grab um, all the technologies. So if we go here and research all tech, it's all unlocked. And I'm actually going to take the ammo out of these initially um, simply because uh, they'll kill the, the, thing, the biters before they get to the wall um, with all the tech unlock. But uh, you can see here if we aggro these guys come over here um, you can see this thing is repairing pretty dang quick um, now you may want more of these just because it can only switch targets so quickly um, but it is repairing very quickly nonetheless uh, so obviously we'll put the ammo in here uh, but you can see these things go um, just repairing this up and there we go we're all fixed and good to go so these are they're really cool they're maybe a little overpowered but like I said they do take power um, and uh, you can see they actually kind of have an electricity buffer here as well. So keep that in mind. If you have a ton of these, you'll definitely have um, quite a bit of power consumption in your base with these. Um, but overall, I think they're really neat. Um, and if this is your type of thing, you'll definitely like it. Clonin is uh, really putting out some good mods. So there you go, guys. I believe that covers everything. Um, in terms of what they take to make really quick, uh, nothing too special repair packs, iron gears, and steel. And uh, I believe that's it. So if you have any questions or thoughts, leave them below. We'll link to the mod portal where you can find this mod in the description. And there's all this info written out really nicely by Clonin as well on there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.